Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about dynamic titles and I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic title that can be used to display a measure. And in this instance here, it's going to be a measure that shows the count of a number of work orders in a table. So if I hover above here, uh, we can see that we've got a list that pops up with the work orders. But what I want is a title on this and I want to see the title contain the number of the work orders that are shown in the list. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to open up our fields and we're going to go and create a, 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 new, a new measure. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new measure. And this measure is going to be used to determine the, the title of our, of our table. So I'm going to call this conditional format and I like to start my conditional format measures with CNDF and this is going to be um, work order matrix title and we're going to call we're going to use something fairly straightforward so we're going to start with a text string and this text string is going to be used for this here so let's just click on here it's going to complain but i just want to be able to see where we're going to actually apply it yeah so we're going to use it here so this is going to be the work order list by planned hours okay so we've got this sorted by planned hours work order list by planned hours and then we're going to close that black off. And then we're just going to simply use this ampersand here. And we're going to stick in a measure. And this is going to be the backlog count. Okay, so in this example here, I've already created a backlog count measure, which we'll look at in a second. So I'm going to go, this is going to be the, the work order list by planned hours. And then we're going to say that it's got a hyphen. And then we're going to use another ampersand here. And I'm actually going to call this out as being hours uh, account. Do, do, do. Work orders. Okay, so that's going to tell us that we've got a number. So work order list by planned hours, hyphen, close, close, close the string, add, add in the actual number of the work orders, and then append the word work orders to the end of it. So that should look okay. So how do we then go and apply this to this title here? So we're going to click on the, the matrix here, or the, the table, and we're going to go into Format. Let's just make sure we've got that selected. And I'm going to go into the title. And in here, I'm going to switch on the title. And rather than just type something in here, I'm going to use this Formatting button here. And we're going to determine the title using Conditional Formatting. And there's only one option here, field value. And the field value will let you select a measure that we've created in here. So I'm going to call this conditional formatting measure. And here it is here. So I've already created another conditional formatting measure for a, a, a different a different table. But this is the one we've got here. And it's going to add it in here. So work order list by planned hours, hyphen 745 work orders. Now I know that is the total number of work orders because I've used this report many times um, and there's no filter on this particular um, visualization. However, if we go back into our home page now and we hover above here, we should see there's two work orders. Well, there's 18 work orders. Well, there's one. Okay, so you can see here the number of work orders that are associated with each one of these. So it just provides a little bit of a, a better user experience, allows you to see the number of work orders, allows you to then, um, if you need to, you can then drill through, we've set that, this up. If you are interested in building this report, then I do have a free course, so check that out in the link below. And if you're interested in how we hide and show these tooltips here to make them disappear, then I will also link to a video below and at the top right hand side. Okay, so just a quick one, just how you can actually add in a, 
a, a neat little measure that's embedded within some text and you can use that as a title for a, a visualization. Thanks for listening and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to my channel then that will keep you up to date with the latest videos or release one around about every week so click that subscribe button and then click the wee bell to be kept up to date and I will talk to you in the next video.